So whenever we talk about delisting and buybacks, it is important to mention share tender. But shares are tendered in both cases. Then how will you get to know the difference between these two? Let us try to understand this with these five points. First is, if a share is successfully delisted, it will not be traded anymore. But a share can be traded after a successful buyback. Now second is, while share buybacks can happen via the open market or tender route, delisting always takes place by the tender route. Next thing you should know that buybacks take place at a fixed price or until a maximum price. In delisting, the final price is decided on the basis of the price at which maximum shares have been tendered. Fourth point is, buybacks are always initiated by the company. In delisting, the promoters buy shares of the company. And now the last point, that is the fifth point. Buybacks can happen even for a small batch of shares, but during delisting, promoters need to buy at least 90% of all the company's shares.